How's your English pronunciation? Let's put your pronunciation skills to the test. In this video, I'll cover 10 of the hardest words to pronounce in English and a special bonus at the end, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Anna English from EnglishLikeANative.com, where we help students from all over the world to learn and speak English like a native with our free and paid courses. My top 10 most difficult words are difficult for a combination of reasons. Some because of the complexity of mouth movements. Some because of their bizarre spelling. Now these are relatively common words. I could include words like anti-disestablishmentarianism or supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but they are rarely used in everyday conversations and therefore not as useful as this list is going to be. Okay, let's go. I will show you the word and give you a moment to speak it out loud. Number one, can you pronounce this? Anemone. <laughs> Even the little fish Nemo found this word difficult to pronounce in the Disney film Finding Nemo. This is a real tongue twister and many people struggle with getting the right number of N's and M's. Let's have a go. Anemone. Think of a lemon. Lemon spelt with an N. Anemone. And a knee. Anemone. 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 Got it? Let's move on. Number two. How would you pronounce this? Colonel. Colonel is a military rank and it is not pronounced as it is spelt at all. It would be easier if it was written Colonel. Unfortunately, it's not spelt like that. In fact, a kernel is the edible part of a nut. So perhaps thinking of a kernel eating kernels will help you to remember this pronunciation. Number three, how would you pronounce this? Draft. Don't feel daft when you pronounce the word draft. When I got it wrong, I just laughed. This is pronounced draft. Not to be confused with the first draft of a book, which sounds the same but has a different spelling. Draft means a current of cool air which blows through a confined space. Oh, is there a window open somewhere? There's a terrible cold draft in here. Draft is also an adjective to describe beer or cider that's served from a barrel. Oh, a nice cold pint of draft beer. Number four, feast your eyes on this lovely word. Onomatopoeia. What a beautiful word. This word is used to describe words which sound like the noise they refer to. For example, zip, bang, plop, buzz, hiss, etc. Say it with me. Onomatopoeia. Break it down. Honor, matter, peer. Onomatopoeia. Number five. Can you pronounce this? You would not believe how many English people get this word wrong. Quinoa. It's not quinoa, it's quinoa, quinoa, because of its Spanish roots. Are you quina to have some quinoa? Number six. This word rhymes with weekday. Segway. And it means to transition from one thing to the next. Speaking of which, let's segue into the next word. Number seven. How do you pronounce this? Squirrel. Squirrel. This cute little nut collector graces gardens and woodlands across the UK and pronouncing its name will make you spit out your dentures. If you wear dentures, of course. Let's try that again. Squirrel. Squi, like squid. Roll. 
squirrel, squirrel. Number eight, this one is very tricky. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Whether you're talking about the location, there's one in both the UK and the USA, or the source, this is a familiar word in English, but its bizarre spelling trips many of us up. Most people just say Worcester, but the full version is Worcestershire. Number nine, can you correctly pronounce this midweek day? Wednesday. Blast those silent letters. Who said Wednesday? It's an understandable mistake to make. I mean, who made this stuff up? It's pronounced Wednesday. You don't use the D. You don't pronounce the Nez. It's crazy. And don't even get me started on February. Oh, we're nearly at the end of the list. Are you finding any of these words challenging? Don't forget, after number 10, I have a bonus word, so stay watching to the end. Number 10, try not to spit on the screen as you say this one. Sixth, sixth. Now, it's generally considered that the TH sound is one of the most difficult sounds in English for non-native English speakers to pronounce, even for some natives too. The word sixth positions the TH after a S sound, which follows a K sound. This means you have to move your tongue very quickly from the high back k to the tip of the tongue s position, then through the teeth for the th. It's like tongue breakdancing. Sixth, 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 rural, rural. This is not a word that native English speakers struggle to pronounce, but the English R is a strange beast to much of the rest of the world. In English, we use a still, floating tongue to pronounce the R. It's slightly curled and slightly back. R, R. So if you are Spanish, Italian or German, you may be tempted to try to tap or trill the R. R. If you are East Asian, you might try to use an L sound. Either way, you'll be struggling to pronounce those two tricky R sounds so close together. Rural, rural. 